Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another TOS Tuesday. Um, today we're going to talk about a neck muscle that is very involved with TOS and tight neck and a lot of different symptoms you may be feeling. And that is the sternocleidomastoid. Now that is one of the biggest muscles you have in the neck and uh, it has two heads. So the one head attaches to the clavicle and the other attaches to the sternum. So you might find that you have a lot of pain in the center of your chest or on your sternum or somewhere on your collarbone and it feels like it's originating from somewhere in your neck because your neck feels tight. Now if you lift your head up you may feel that the sides of your neck are tight and that is the first indication that your sternocleidomastoid is, a, is very tight. So I do have a video explaining how to massage it and loosen it up but today I'm going to show you exactly where it attaches and you can see for yourself exactly where it originates so you can find that pain. So if we go under this muscle, we can see that this entire muscle here is the sternocleidomastoid. So as you can see, the two heads, here's the one head that attaches to the sternum, and the other head is quite a long, flat piece of muscle, and that attaches to the collarbone or the clavicle. So you might find that your tight neck muscle is pulling, and the tighter your neck is, you may get this pain in the front of your your chest here and it, it's it's very tight and feels deep almost like it's underneath the collarbone or the sternum and that's because it attaches behind those those bones and uh, when it gets tight everything pulls down and you've got that pressure put, pulling on your sternum and your, on your and your clavicle so you can see why you get that pressure is because that muscle attaches right there so the next thing you might be feeling is tightness in the back of your head almost like at the base of your skull you may be feeling that you cannot move forward much or it's tight if you rotate your head to the side or you move your head sideways and it just everything feels very tight and like it's limiting your your range of motion and that is because the sternocleidomastoid attaches to the back of the head um, to the mastoid muscle which is why it is the sternocleidomastoid because of the sternum the clavicle and the mastoid muscle so that's one way to remember that muscle and you can see it attaches to the base of your skull at the back and it originates right underneath right at the back so you can see that having a tight sternocleidomastoid gives you that tight neck if you're trying to rotate your head and it pulls all the way down the side of the the neck so you may be feeling like you can't get a good breath of air and someone's holding you tight and uh, when you're having anxiety this is one muscle that can tighten and spasm and it actually feels like someone's choking you and holding you quite tight and because you've got the jugular right here you can see that if this muscle is tight it affects the blood flow and it can affect you you can get vertigo you can feel out of breath and you feel a little bit lightheaded and it's just not a very pleasant muscle to have tight so because it is such a big muscle you can see that having a tight sternocleidomastoid can affect all the way from the front around to the back to the base of the skull and it starts affecting the other muscles like the scalene muscles which lay underneath it starts pulling your rib up more and causes more compression in the brachial plexus area which is right around here and it just causes a whole lot of symptoms that you can avoid by massaging it and learning the correct techniques to massage it you don't want to just grab the muscle and pull anyway because of the jugular and your arteries around there so watch my other video I'll link it below and you can see just how to use trigger point therapy just to find the muscle just to isolate that muscle so when you're doing your massage you can just find and feel exactly where to push and how to push without injuring yourself and it's just gonna help with all your symptoms whether you're just having anxiety and having tight neck muscles or having headaches the whole time you can alleviate those by loosening this muscle and if you have TOS or you've had surgery and you're trying to get rid of scar tissue and stuff everything just gets tighter so massaging this muscle is really going to help loosen it's going to help take the pressure off and the scalenes aren't going to be so easily spasmed and you're just going to feel more relaxed and your head's going to feel a lot more balanced and in a neutral position so this is just a short video to show you exactly where the sternocleidomastoid is and how it functions and uh, i'll link the other video below learning how to massage it and it's going to help you so much with your recovery so i will see you guys soon